I did a show in Austin, Texas, and this C-list celebrity decided to come up on stage and call me a filthy fucking chink. You know, as an immigrant, I have to like budget differently because every time I spend my money, I have to like calculate the exchange rate in my head like all the time, you know, like $5 for a burger. That's like $35 in China. Yeah, that's a lot of money. That's why I never go to Five Guys. Uh, because to me, it sounds like 35 guys. Oh, that's too many guys. That doesn't sound delicious at all. It sounds pornographic. <laughs> you know, I really hate it when I meet a girl and she give me that backhanded compliment. Like, hey, Pong, you're an attractive guy. I'm for Chinese. I'm like, yeah, but what is exchange rate, though? <laughs> right? Like, if I was a five in China, what does it make me here? <laughs> a 50 cent? <laughs> yeah, my last name um, spells D-A-N-G. Uh, it's a very rare last name in China, but super popular in Vietnam. So a lot of Asian people confuse me for Vietnamese, but I'm actually Chinese. Uh, but if you just look up my name, if you just Google my full name, uh, you'll find a lot of news articles, and a lot of them are negative. Uh, <laughs> yeah, like, what happened was, I did a show in Austin, Texas, and this C-list celebrity decided to come up on stage and call me a filthy fucking chink. Yeah, it threw me off so much because he said it with so much confidence, like, it wasn't his first rodeo, you know? I'm like, because that, that's not a kind of word that comes up in the daily conversation, you know? That word is not even in, like, a rap song, you know? Like, if you don't know, now you know, Ching. I'm like, where did he get the practice? And luckily, somebody, like, filmed the show, and he gave me the tape, so I had to, like, put the tape out online. Like, I post that shit, and it went viral. And this guy, George Takai from Star Trek, he shared the video and a lot of Asian people commented like, oh, that guy's racist dumbass. You can't say chink. Uh, Dang is obviously Vietnamese. <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 you guys are wrong. He was right. <laughs> like, I can't believe which side of argument I'm on right now. Say what you want about that guy. His racism was on point, y'all. <laughs> and of course, you got a bunch of other like C-list celebrities. They try to like defend that guy. They're trying to defend that guy. They're like, oh, this is not racism. It's comedy. I'm like, bullshit. If I was a black guy, he'll never call me the N-word, right? And they're like, oh no, but N-word, C-word, they're not the same. They're not the same. I'm like, hang on a second. Are you trying to tell me that there's an exchange rate for racial slur? <laughs> like, right before somebody was about to say a racial slur, they do a calculation in their head. <laughs> like, oh, N-word equals C-word times seven. <laughs> Plus a folding chair to the head. I'm, <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> yeah, Montgomery, Alabama, you guys show the world. <laughs> Yeah, like, like black guys, don't, black people don't play. Like, you guys don't tolerate that bullshit. Like, y'all swim to each other's defense. <laughs> right? And that, that's why nobody else dares to say the N-word. Like, you understand this? Like, N-word is the most powerful word in this country. Right? Like, N-word is out there doing big things. Right? Like, N-word is out there canceling CEOs and NBA owners even pontoon boat owners. <laughs> Nobody can get away. <laughs> and C-word, like, I'm not even comfortable saying that word. Like, C-word is only good enough for, like, C-list celebrity. They can say it. <laughs> like, that's what the C stands for, you know? 